So that's what it is, man. You need not talk too much. Let's get back and read these holy scriptures. Right. Verse 9. For the most I have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord. I will shine. You see? So you weren't appointed to death. You were appointed to salvation. That's why we're found doing what? The work. We're diligent in doing the work. Constantly occupied in the Lord's work. Because the Lord hasn't appointed us unto wrath, but unto salvation. Okay? And that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Nothing else matters. But besides that, we're the hopeful elect. And it's looking more and more, and I want to just be honest. It's looking more and more that we are the elect. But we still hold our heads down and we don't get too proud. Because if you look at all of these other like camps, and you just look at people in general, you know, I'm not saying it's braggadocious. I'm just saying for truth's sake, you know, we're doing a marvelous job, man. Even sometimes when you walk in, man, people can see something different about you. So as the time progresses, it's, 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 it's showing that we, we, we are those men, we are the elect. But we still hold our heads down and we still say, well, hopefully, until the time comes. Because we don't 100% know. Some may think maybe 80%, some may think 90%, 75%. So we don't 100% know that we're the elect. But as time progresses and as we see the looks of you know other men and how they appear and how they you know operate in this ministry because you got guys that that know they're Israelites but they're not teaching them they're not teaching the um the scriptures the correct way and we have to keep getting on these guys constantly right and also their attitude and you compare our attitude to things so it's, it's looking more that we could be those men brothers it's looking more that we can be those men but you know in saying that, we don't fully know. We don't 100% know. But like the Apostle Paul said, hey, where should I go? I tell you what, I'm going to turn over here because I don't know I'm going to move down here. It was like, it was a dead end. So yeah, like I was saying, we don't 100% know, and we don't need to 100% know that we're the elect. Because the Lord wants us to demonstrate faith. If the Lord came to us in the vision, and, and he said to us, okay, you're the elect, right? And in due time, you're going to meet other men that I have chosen as my election, right? My elect, excuse me. I want to make you, the, I'm, 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 I've chosen you to be the elect, and I'm going to surround you with other elect men, right? So if the Lord said that to us, then we wouldn't be so adamant and so in, in the right state of mind to do his work. It would be lazadaisical, man. <laughs> you know, so the Lord don't want that. The Lord don't want us to be lazadaisical. But the ultimate thing the Lord wants us to do, as well as he did, is demonstrate faith. Yeah? That's what he wants us to do. Is to demonstrate faith. As well as he made great emphasis to his disciples about faith. When Peter made an attempt to walk on water to see what Yahweh Shah was doing, he was doing it, but, but but then when the winds blew and the tempest came, he um he withdrawn from his focus on his faith towards um walking on the water. So he went underneath it. Alright, so we have to look ahead. We can't look at oh what's going on over here and there. Man, to hell with your environment, man. To hell with those those silly thoughts that come in your mind. Focus your mind on the hope or should I say more effectively just one word salvation focus your mind on that okay Most have not appointed us to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So there you go, man. 
There you go. We were set up to be saved, brothers. That's why we're doing the work right now. That's why the Most High put us where He put us among the congregation of the righteous. It's not even the money. Yeah, keep moving. Now, I will say this Yahweh Shai did say, Many are called, but few are chosen. He did say that. Right? But the brothers that are still around, that are still teaching, that are still optimistic about this thing. There's, there's a high likely chance that you could be the elect. The Lord of willing, including myself. It's Lord of willing. And you you also got to bring to mind, there's been many brothers that was in your camp that you were probably cool with. As usual, you would break bread with these brothers, man, and you go into the scriptures and have conversations and what have you, man, and, and um, help brothers out. These kind of brothers when they needed help. And now all of a sudden, you don't see these guys no more, man. Certain, these, certain one of these guys you were real close, you were really close with. You know, you didn't think that this man had an ill bone in his body, now, and I mean that metaphorically. <laughs> you know? You know that this man was, was all good. He was all green. He was all truth. You know, he was, hey man. He was the perfect candidate for this truth. And you was feeling it, man. Like, yeah, this guy, he's a brother. He's definitely a man of the Lord, as well as, right? But where is he at now? He's back in the world. And um, I'm not going to say the man's name, but, you know, there was a brother that was down with us that was like that. And he was from Scotland, man. You know, I'm not going to air his name out there. He knows I'm talking about him. But he was a cool, cool brother. Like, you can leave your book back around this guy, man. He, would, you would, he wouldn't steal nothing from you. You just, you could sense that this guy had no harm in him. But the Lord ain't looking at that, man. The Lord is looking at your attitude towards him. You could be cool with men. But are you cool with him and doing his work? What's your attitude towards him? That's what he's looking at. Because you can be cool with men all day, every day, and other men can love you to their heart. But that doesn't mean that you're you're um you're the one that which was chosen. So you want to be the one that was called to be chosen. Because when that time comes, not to stray away from the topic of the vision that I had, I want to stay on that topic. When the time comes, man. Those that were called to be chosen, they're going to be preordained. The Lord is going to put the Spirit upon them to do the work and to give them the gift of faith. And through all of those things, they will be saved. All right? I really pray, man, that all of the brothers that I know, all of the brothers that I've seen eye to eye with, man, I really pray that all of us will be saved, man. You know, from the least of you brothers to the greatest of you brothers that I've seen. I pray that all of you brothers are delivered and saved when the time comes. Alright? And that's word. Anyway. Let's read this. It says, um, verse 10. Let's read verse 9 again. For the most I have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation. By our Lord, the house shall not shall. Um, who died for us that whether we wake or sleep we should live together with him wherefore comfort yourselves together and edify one another even as also ye do so that's what this is all about man that's why the apostle the elder apostle to hard to be exact gave the order that we should be diligent more so in doing these videos going all the way back to i believe maybe 2017 um, the order was given that every brother do three videos per week. Right? The certain man had an issue with that. That's why they're not around today. But um, when you really think about it, as we fast forward five years, or so four and a half years, shall we say, because we're still in the beginning stages of the year, um, we got brothers that are doing that a day. This brothers is doing three videos in one day. Some doing five, some doing seven. I'm doing seven, as usual. Right? And I can remember, man, I, I was kind of struggling with that. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, certain brothers had to reprimand me on that. 
because I was still doing videos like like every two weeks, every three weeks. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, stepping up enough according to the command that the apostle to hard gave. So now I'm on a point where I could do three. I mean, shit, I could do that like like it's drinking water. It's easy. Three videos ain't nothing. You know, I could probably do ten videos in one day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it really depends on what, 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 uh, what matter of time that I have. You know, especially now, because I have a little bit more time to myself, so I can, I can push that amount of um, videos out there, so to speak. And you know, like I said, when I look at the brothers, just to not talk about myself, when I look at the bro the brothers. That were and it's diligent also did did man it diligent man brothers is doing it it's to the point where brothers don't have to tell other brothers look you gotta do the videos man you're already you doing it you know? and that's what we need to be doing because the more diligent we are on on a, on a particular subject is the more that thing becomes um Bigger picture in our mind. That's the only word I, I could actually uh, think about at this time. But that thing becomes more important.